Okay, gentlemen, another cooking video. Got to get rid of this wild game somehow. So here's the deal. Check this out. We are going to be cooking some Nil Guy kebabs. I've been marinating this for two days in stubs, beef marinade. Use any type of marinade you want and use any type of meat you want. This is just what I'm using today. But I'm not sure if I'm going to actually show you the cooking of the kebabs because that's pretty damn obvious, right? All right, let's show you. Let me show you what I'm going to put on all these kebabs. Okay, gentlemen. Now here's the beauty of making kebabs. You get to put all your favorite foods on the same stick. So here's what I'm using today. Little guy. Going to use some bok choy. Tomatoes, snap peas, bell pepper, mushrooms, assorted fruit pack of some type of peppers, onion, onion, you catching that? Are you catching that? Onion, you catching that? Look at that, I got another bell pepper. And damn, zucchini. You even got some zucchini here. You seeing that? Yeah. That's a nice sized uh, zucchini right there. Okay, that's what I'm going to be putting on these skewers. So let's cut this up. I'll show you that. And we'll move on from there. Need good sized pieces so you can skewer them. And make sure you wash your mushrooms because they tend to have a bunch of dirt on them. Not that it's going to hurt you, but you know, a lot of people don't appreciate the dirt. I personally don't care because, you know, after it's bouncing around on the grill, who can tell, right? Hell, maybe it's organic. Donut! Oh man, I might have to deep fry those. I need bell pepper onion rings. What do you think? Hell, that might work. That sounds like a new recipe. y'all these peppers and a lot of fine chefs will tell you to remove the seeds I don't know why to remove the seeds I've never removed a seed in my life you know I don't I just eat them you know so they just need to man up or something I don't know what the deal is but I just cut the stems off these because those do get a little bit chewy but usually those make a nice little handle to hold but I'm not doing that today but like I said some things just leave the seeds. I don't see what the big deal is. You know? Anyway, these are going to be really cool. Beautiful meat. Just beautiful. And you should feel how tender this stuff feels. It's awesome.
You want to cut across the grain. Makes it just that much more tender, but like I said, I've been marinating this for two days. Guess it's been that long. I, I don't know. I did it. Put them in the refrigerator and let them roll. Ooh, that's a big old piece. Okay, y'all. You need to have a place to put all these skewers. So I'm going to put them on a cookie sheet. So check this out. Got to move this t-shirt out of the way. Wife keeps leaving her clothes hanging around. I don't know what's up with that, you know. Got my cookie sheet. Now you want to make sure soak your skewers in water, okay? Just stick all this on there, just however order you see fit. You know, if you want more meat, put more meat on it. You know, if you want uh, less meat, less meat. But you probably want about three or four pieces of uh, meat per skewer I would say something like that you know that's good enough that'll work okay y'all finished making these kebabs take a look at that now, ain't that a mountain of kebabs those are awesome awesome now I need all y'all to rate and comment you know on this vid I need to, I need some feedback here seriously I need to know whether to make these bigger or make more of them or anything you know I just really need to know because you know that guy I'm paying twenty dollars a week to do it he's been sleeping on the job he just hasn't been taking care of business so I need some a lot of feedback I need you guys to rate these videos and let me know what you think you know I know a lot of you guys like uh, cheeseburgers every day from morning till night and so you might need these kebabs just a little bit bigger you know, I have no way of knowing. You know, I'm only a legend in my own mind. I'm a deep fried king. I got my head down in the grease most of the time, you know. I'm just kind of sliding around here and there. So let me know. Let me know. Now let's go cook these kebabs. Well, gentlemen, there's one thing about cooking out in Texas cooking outside man it's hot and ball caps you know Texas hard hat are definitely a thing you might need you know mine's kind of worn out I really don't know if I might need a new one you know maybe y'all ought to comment on that this hat's kind of torn up maybe I need a new hat too not sure about that one though but we'll see maybe a camouflage one but you know you guys can comment on that if you want but here's those kebabs I cooked them, and what I already I already eaten a couple of them. The mushrooms picked up all the flavor of the marinade. Just fantastic. Can't go wrong. And there's the meat. Magnif. Perfect. Anyway, that's how you cook some kebabs. I'm sure you all know how to do it. And uh, really appreciate y'all's comments and ratings on this video. Yeah, and I realize I'm a big old whore. <laughs> yes, I do. But these kebabs, you know, hey, somebody gave them to me, and you know, well, you just got to do what you got to do sometimes. So, appreciate y'all watching.